Hi everyone, today I will discuss about how do you insert your data into the database and how do you retrieve the data from the database by using JSP. In this example, I am using the Oracle database. First, let me create a table in the database. Create, create table, table name is student, then ID is a number, the name, string, then 20 is the length, then branch, run this query, name is already been used to existing object, description, student. The table is already been created. The ID, name, branch. Then after that, how we can insert a data into this table by using the JSP code. And these are the files are required to interact with the database. Uh, let me explain about index.html. The form is consists of two buttons. One button is for display, another button is used for insert. When you click on these buttons, the corresponding JSP code will get executes. The document or get element by ID, the form to be accessed here. I want to include the action attribute. Then retrieve.jsp, if you click on the display button, which is redirected to the re retrieve.jsp. Then if you click on insert button, the page is redirected to the insert.jsp. First, I will explain about retrieve.jsp then here the class.furname method which is used to loading the driver class here i am using the oracle driver this is the syntax has been used for loading the oracle driver then after that this syntax has been used for connection establishment to the oracle server here i am using the type for driver thin driver the localhost colon 1521 is the port number of the Oracle server, then X is transfer express edition. After that, the username of the Oracle software, then password of the Oracle server. Then once you are entered the proper syntax, the connection is established. After that, create the statement. The statement object is used for responsible for executing the queries. If you want to execute the query, the statement object is mandatory. The next one, I am using the result set class for retrieving the data from the Oracle database. The execute query method is been used. The statement object dot the execute query, whichever query do you want, you can write over here. But I want to retrieve all the rows from the student table. Okay, this is I am using the table whenever retrieving the data that has to be inserted in the form of the table. Okay, this is the header, name, ID, name, branch, then whichever row have been inserted in the table, each and every row has been retrieved by using this code. Then rs.next, it checks whether row is available or not. If the row is available, this code will, code will get executed, otherwise which returns null. Then here, what I wrote, inside this loop, then row have been created, then first TD have been created. I want to retrieve the first field, it is an integer, that's why I am using the get int method. Then the second field is a string. Then there is a method is called the object name dot get string. The third method is that the field is three. After that, then I will explain about the insert code. <coughs> Here, class dot for name, loading the driver class. Here connection establishment, the statement object is responsible for executing the queries. Then here I am using execute update. I want to insert the data. Then we use execute update method. The statement object dot execute update. You can able to write the query. The insert in table name, then values. If this method returns a positive number, then data is to be inserted successfully. If this Execute update method reads a negative number. The data is not been inserted successfully. 
Then here I am checking this condition, I greater than 0, data is inserted successfully. Then otherwise data is not inserted. This statement has been used for get back to the home page. Let me run localhost colon 8080, 8080 is the port number, port number of the Tomcat server. Press enter. Click on manager app. Enter username and password. My project folder is Oracle example. Then click on this folder. Okay. Because here the home page has been displayed. Few CSS code has been added here. Then if you click on display, we can able to retrieve the data from the database. Then if you click on insert, then the data has to be inserted into the database. Then if I click on insert button, the data is inserted successfully. I get back to the Oracle server, then select stop from student, click on run. Then here the data is been inserted. I want to insert another data. 102 John Tribuli. Save it. Data is inserted successfully. Then come get back to the server. Then run once again. And see here the data is also been inserted. I want to display the data. See here, whatever the data you have been inserted, those data have been displayed. This is the way you can insert the data into the database and also you can able to retrieve the data from the database. If any doubt or any query regarding this example, please contact me through the comment box. Thank you. Thank you all for watching my videos.